up what's going on welcome to my channel i will show you how to transfer files and games using the kodi media player a lot of people don't know about this this is probably the best option because the only other way that you can transfer these files is through the xbox portal or in other words using that ftp and uh, of course most of you know or some of you don't know is that the file explorer that once was no longer functions and also the Durango FTP that no longer functions either. I have tried this on multiple consoles. I'm talking about Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, also the Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X. None of these are able to transfer files. Um, yeah, I think it has to do with something with Microsoft has put a lid on it now, so here we go. To need a USB device of some kind it needs to be formatted in NTFS and also needs permissions enabled on it if you don't know how to do this I will leave a link to a video and everything else on how to do this at the end of this video first off you guys need to create a folder and call it ROMs within the root of the USB device and within that ROMs folder you need to place each individual folder that has the actual ROMs in it. As you can see there I have different systems like the Sega Mega Drive, Sega Master System and so on. They can either be in zipped or unzipped format, it doesn't really matter. But you'll probably notice I don't have an actual ROMs folder there or labelled ROMs as I have already created one on the Xbox hard drive. You've transferred all your files over to your USB device, eject it from your PC and insert it into your Xbox. So obviously we're going to open up Kodi, as you can see there. Press A to launch it. Once Cody boots up, select the gear icon or the settings icon, press A on it, press A on file manager. We're going to be using the left hand side. As you can see there, the USB device has been recognized. So we go down and select it. Now we move over to the right side and we're going to add a new source. Go to browse, go to the D drive, which is the Xbox. I'm going to go down to Development Files, Windows Apps, go down to this one here, and this is the folder we want to dump our ROMs in. I already have a ROMs folder there, so I've selected that, press OK, and go down to OK again. And as you can see there, the ROMs folder has been populated. I'm going to go inside that. I'm going to go back to the left side and press the X button. Go to select all, press X again and go down to copy. Would you like to copy the selected files? Select yes. And then you will see a progress bar on the top right hand corner. This will spin for quite a while because what it's doing, it's reading the contents of your USB device before it starts to transfer the files over. So once this has completed, Hit the B button several times to go back to the main menu. Select the power button if you want to quit out and go back to the dev screen. And press A on that. And there you go, all done. We've come to the end of this video. If you've learned something today, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Chat.